everyone, it is the Leaf Factor once again, and it's been a while, hasn't it? Like, what, like, beginning of November? Um, yeah, I've been stupidly busy, but today's video is going to be a get ready with me style thing because I have a photo shoot for my short film that I have been planning to try to work on for the past year and a half, pretty much. Uh, I started this time last year and, you know, obviously health issues happened so I didn't actually get it done and it was supposed to be a announcement type of video as well for the big thing that I had to cancel for said health issue. So I'm going to go over what this short film is going to be about and all that fun stuff while I'm at the shoot. I'm not going to get into the nitty gritty until we're actually at Richard's place, but I'm currently spending, what, I think it's been like at least 20 minutes since I've started this. I'm literally plucking my face. Like I have this mirror. <laughs> that my mom has. It's like this ultra magnifying mirror. Like this side's like a normal side, as you can see, but like when you flip it, it's like way more zoomed in. So it's kind of terrifying looking at yourself in the zoomed in one and being like, oh my God, all the wrinkles, all the <laughs> red skin blotches with no makeup and oh my God, the hair. I swear, being in your mid twenties is like going through second puberty. I think Jenna Marbles talked about this at one point. It's like, I literally have, this might be teeth night, but I literally have coarse hair coming through my chin. So I literally, before a shoot, if it's been like two weeks of not plucking my face, I will literally spend like maybe an hour plucking my eyebrows, plucking my mouth, mustache hair, because apparently I have that too, Trisha kindly pointed out. Thanks, girl. And my chin hair! So hopefully I can get this finished soon because as it stands right now, it is 10 to 10 and I have to be at Richard's at 10.30 to start. So yeah, uh, we're just gonna continue doing that and we'll meet you at Richard's. Say hello to the viewers. <laughs> right now we are currently looking at, let's see if I can zoom in, at the photo promotion photos that we started for my eight part video series that I have briefly mentioned on Instagram. I've never actually mentioned it on YouTube before yet, but we were trying to do one of the, like the first promo shot for it. It was like an up upper thing, but it didn't quite work. That was kind of a frustrating day. <laughs> But we decided to do this one instead since I was planning on doing it regardless and it ended up working out really well and it should be a quick edit. What do you think? No, not a quick edit? Uh, about 20 minutes. Oh, well that's, that's quick in my books. Usually mine to take like a, up to a half an hour because I really don't know what I'm doing with Photoshop. <laughs> I really like this picture. My legs look so good. Thank you. <laughs> you did good. You did so good. Before, after. Oh, I'm so pleased with it. Thank you! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> After we're done looking through some of these shots, we're gonna do the quick half photo for the, my short film, which is why I look like shit today. So, that's a thing. <laughs> Who is here? Hello! Hi. Say hi to everybody! Hi. <laughs> oh no, the lights! You're, you're, so, you're so black, it's not focusing on your face. That's good! <laughs> Hello, introduce yourself. Kitty. Yes. Good morning. She Good morning. was she was my Halloween um, Harley Quinn demon in the thing. So yes, <laughs> go go ahead. And now Trisha's coming up too. So Trisha, hello. hello. Oh, I'm good. Yourself. I'm good. Oh, come come inside. Yeah. Let me let me take baby if you need help. Hello, hello little How baby. You? Thank you for bringing coffee. The whole gang is here now. Yay. <laughs> so we haven't started the shoot yet. I kind of figured I yeah. knew you, so I yeah. was like. He said 11, 11, 11.30. I was like, I'm gonna come for at least minimum 11.30. Yeah. <laughs> Where can I put this coffee? Um, on the table here. So I was already at McDonald's and I hadn't heard anything. Oh, so I was like, yeah. I just got everybody double doubles. Yay, <laughs> yeah. thank you. Good. Yeah. Thank yeah. You. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think so, yeah. Hey, Editing Lee here. Uh, I was working on this and then I realized that um, I have my sad music playing in the background, so I just wanted to like give a quick little like why. It's because usually when I do these photo shoots, I play whatever type of music of the emotion that I need to show, because I find it just makes it a lot easier to get in touch with that emotion 
So if you are curious to what that song actually is, like, I'll leave the link in the description, and uh, there's also an info card to the song. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, back to the video. Oh, you look so pretty. Really? I'm supposed to look like shit! Oh, well, you look really pretty in this video. I'm supposed to look, like, sad and depressed. Oh, and then you, like, put the better, like... Oh, yeah, they, uh, the when name? she does my makeup and everything, that's, like, my, what I, the version of myself that I want to be. So it's, okay. like, the contrasting cool. version. Yeah. Got a little depressed? Okay, what's it look like? Because you're trying to, it seems like you're trying to hold it in a position. Okay. So. Okay, I'll just say something really sad. Okay. <laughs> Alright. That's just gonna make me laugh. I'll let me just focus instead. Okay. <laughs> and I'll tell you how my mom died. Okay. okay. Oh. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. She's sad. I guess. This was easier when I was actually sad. <laughs> I'm gonna stop smiling at you. Yeah. Stop. You're laughing at my mom dying. No, I'm not. I'm not laughing at your mom dying. Just... Yeah. <laughs> okay. Oh, really? I want to look at the camera, so I keep like defaulting, like going yeah. down, because I'm like, oh, sad is looking down, but I'm like, this is the yeah, camera. Like, she's the only one with that, right? Oh, okay. Yeah. So we're gonna start trying again next year. It's not from the side of the eye that's sad. Yeah. yeah. Hoping it's from the eye. That way you're like, doctor, one boy, one. Yeah. Right now. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sweet. I think we're done. Um, so Thank you. Uh, it looks depressing. Yeah, I like how your eye looks yeah. very. No, no. If you like, cover that one side, what does the other side look like? It's it's the pretty much the same with with more zits on my face and mm -hmm. it's brighter. Yeah. Yeah. So you I, was can... looking, I was looking at the bright side. Yeah. There we go. Let's do that same thing with the current one, and I want to compare them. I like no? the other one better. Too happy? No, 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 no. I like the other cropped one. Yeah, the one on the right yeah. looks more not put together, which is more of what I'm going for, even though I did wear the hat a lot at work. Yeah, I like that one. So. Yeah? Okay, let's keep that then. Sweet! Okay, <laughs> well, let's keep that. And mm. now... Whoa, one really zoomed in. Yeah, let's just unzoom that. Coffee really fast. All right, yeah, so now that we're done that yeah, first yeah. half, thank you so much, Richard. Good job now. again. Trisha now gets to start my face. Woo. Where are you? Oh, you're right there. Okay, it's really hard to see you over there. <laughs> All right, so we are in Richard's bathroom, so I can get started on my base makeup now. I'm starting with um, the Photo Finish Reduce Redness because, oh, hey, actually, the autofocus works really well, sweet. Because as you can see, with nothing on, I have pretty, pretty red undertones. So this really helps calm down my face. And this one is actually the one that Trisha convinced me to buy, like, years ago because she was like, it's gonna make your foundation look better. And back then, I was super stubborn and did not want to listen and learn the hard way that, nope, I should have used this before. But regardless, that is what we are starting with now because I buy it religiously because it works so damn well. For my foundation, I will be using the Kat Von D's, ooh, there we go, Kat Von D's Locket foundation. Now, I recently just learned the whole controversy around Kat Von D and yes I do not agree with her not wanting not wanting to vaccinate her children that's pretty much all about it that I know I don't know anything else about what the problem is with her but I will say it right now I think you should vaccinate your children maybe I'll piss off a few people but I don't care that is what I think and I know for a fact that is also what Trisha thinks because she is a paramedic and she has a kid and I think she's already done the vaccinations. I don't remember when you're supposed to do it. I have no idea. But anyway, I'm still going to use her foundation because I am pale as hell, and this is the first foundation I've found that actually matches my neck. So I just overlook that, and didn't she like sell a company too? So I don't really even know. I'm just gonna continue to use it unless I find something else that works better. This air problem area that I've been having a lot lately, normally it's not that bad, but during the winter, oh my God, my skin freaks the hell out. Anyone else have that problem in Canada? It's super annoying. Next one is the same Locket Concealer Cream. Is it gonna... Do I, do I have to get out of the shot for it to focus? Yeah. Me. Thank God for Photoshop because there was a lot of zits in that area. <laughs> but when you're super pale, you have to use it, especially on your eyes, because I can get really bad dark circles if I don't get enough sleep, which I don't think I got enough sleep last night, so hopefully it looks okay on camera. And I'm sure some of you who are actually good at makeup, if you might land on this video, are probably screaming right now, considering that I am just using my fingers to blend in everything, when most people are like, beauty brushes! And I'm just like, no, 
I am not the makeup person, so I'm just gonna do it my way. Trisha would be annoyed at me though. <laughs> she likes using blending brushes and she's really good at makeup, which is why she's doing my makeup today. Okay, cool. Base is mostly one color now. All right, with that, I'm going to go get Trisha and we shall start. I am almost 100% certain that I had that dress at some point in time. Really? Yes. The one that's on the jacket? Yes. How did you have that? Well, because I bought it off of eBay. Oh. Please, I think I found your next outfit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, please show that to the camera. Oh my God, could you imagine me in that? Hell no. Hell no. Lee, nice. girl. You want to get started or not? Yes, ma'am. Yes. you. Go for it. Make me pretty. Got it. Woo. Close, girl. Sorry. Terrible day. I think I tried to watch Girl. I will be April 1st. Wow. Uncle April Fool's, girl. Uh, that makes me nervous. Why does that make you nervous? Because April Fool's is almost as bad as Black Friday. No, not Black Friday. It's uh, April Friday the 13th. Fool's girl. I know, but it's not a superstitious <laughs> bad things are going to happen to you this day. Close your eyes. Mm -hmm. it might be the most no. <laughs> don't, don't, just, don't add that <laughs> small thing of stress to yourself for no reason. I'm just paranoid that I'm going to have to cancel again for some crazy reason. <laughs> So what I vaguely described earlier was a small tidbit of the plot of the short film. But I want to backtrack a bit first, otherwise this could sound a bit melodramatic. <laughs> Way back when I first started uploading to this channel, I had a standard Monday to Friday full-time job as an embroiderer. Now some of you may be thinking, that doesn't sound bad at all. Under normal circumstances, I would agree. But this place was far from normal. But I accepted this job knowing full well what I was getting myself into. I knew this because my sister had worked the same job with the same people almost 10 years ago. This place was a small, locally owned business, and it was run by a man who had inherited it from his dad after he had passed away. A man who, let's just say, isn't the most mentally stable, nice boss. Along with having to work with him directly on almost a regular basis, there were two older women in this department. One who was also an embroiderer, there for 15 years, and the other who cleaned up the threads from the embroidered garments, who had been there for way longer. Both women were very easily angered people. I won't go into details here since it realistically could be its own video. But anyway, it would be a miracle if there was one day a week where these three weren't either yelling at my face or at each other. I dealt with this for four years. I bet by now you're thinking, why the hell would someone willingly put themselves in a job like that? And the hard truth was I needed to. I live in a small town with not many options for someone who had no degree outside of high school. I graduated in 2012 and started this job in 2014. I had only two goals at the time, to travel the world and become an actor. I had no idea what I could realistically do for a plan B career, since the only thing I was good at in school was drama and gym class. So I put my focus on saving money to travel. I knew that this embroidery job would give me the wage I needed to achieve this, and I told myself I could put up with the verbal abuse for that goal. So I did. Until shit really hit the fan. <laughs> I had six deaths to deal with in six months, and then things were said and done by some of my coworkers and boss that I could not forgive. What little respect I had for them and this job were gone. I became angry and then depressed. It legit felt like a quarter-life crisis, or at least the closest thing I've ever felt to one. All I could think was, what was I doing with my life? To try and escape my reality, I started daydreaming more and more. I imagined the person I wanted to become and the things I wanted to accomplish. And then I started making more YouTube vlogs, since making the Japan vlogs made me happy. From those, I got the idea for this film. I wanted to make something that could inspire someone else to go after their goals, despite being told you can't or just feeling stuck. I'm still far from achieving all of my dreams, but I'm getting closer. I hope you guys will follow along and also hope that you didn't feel like this was too cheesy. <laughs> all right, so makeup is done. Doesn't this look so pretty? Oh my God, she did such a good job with you. So good. <laughs> so now, as you can see, I'm just getting the rollers in. Um, this will probably only be in for like maybe five minutes because perks of having naturally curly hair, you don't have to have rollers in for very long for a loose curl. So yeah, gonna do that and then we'll get started for the second shot and hopefully it goes really well. And yeah, I think I'm just gonna leave it off with a little bit of B-roll of 
I'm, I'm walking back and forth, I don't even know what I'm doing at this point. We'll just end it with a little bit of B-roll of doing the second half of my face once this is out. And we'll call it a day for the video, so I want to thank you guys all for watching. And remember, think for yourself, use your head, learn something new, and I will see you when What's Your Dream gets released. <laughs>